We spend one third of our lives sleeping and bad sleep can destroy the other two thirds of our lives. So this guy slept an entire week on the floor. No bed, no soft mattress, and sometimes not even a pillow or a blanket. So this is what happened to his body. I slept on the floor every night for a week. That sounds uncomfortable. Why would you do this? What are the benefits? I slept on the floor every night for an entire week. What? He's just laying on the floor. I thought there might be uh, blankets, pillow. I once had like an, an air mattress and it was like there was a hole in it. Halfway through the night, it was just empty. I was sleeping on the floor. Everything hurts. I didn't even like to lay on the ground right now for a second. The reasons I chose to endure this challenge and track my sleep on the cold, hard floor is because the floor is cold and hard. And the argument is that is potentially more of a natural surface that we were meant to sleep on. Would I actually sleep better? This position looks awful. If you ever went in nature, just walk outside. There's no flat surface there. That's man-made. That's like a PVC floor. It's like, that's not natural. Natural would probably be in the woods or on sand or something grass. softer. Grass. grass. But what could help with sleep is that it's a colder surface and your body temperature may drop faster, which is good for sleep to be in a little bit of a less hot environment. Jumping right in tonight one, setting up my little floor floor area to sleep on, I did put down a sheet to separate myself from the synthetic carpet. But other than that, this surface was hard. Oh. Okay, so he's laying down on a carpet floor and he puts down a sheet. This is not helping. But he does use a pillow. Uh, let's see how he sleeps. Pillow. Do I use it? Do I not use it? I don't think I can sleep without a pillow. People are like, yeah, use a pillow. You need to position yourself correctly on the floor. He's looking so scared. Or other people saying no. No, if you want the spine to align properly, no pillow. That would just wake up with so much neck pain. Well, honestly, it feels pretty decompressing on my spine right now. Pressure points are a little bit hot right now, not gonna lie. So what he's talking about is that pain points in his back are hurting right now. He's feeling those? Yeah. It's not good when you go to sleep. No, you don't want that. However, for the first few seconds, this felt kind of good. But after a couple of minutes, those pressure points, like where my body's contacting the ground, started to get a bit uncomfortable. Would I get used to this or would I struggle through the night? Well, anyways, I just decided to send it. Now, this first night, I woke up multiple times. This is literally what I was doing the entire night, flipping and flopping, pillow, no pillow, stomach, back, stomach, back. It was a pretty rough night's sleep. Even animals will find Find a soft place to bed down, such as tall grass. Bird and mice make nests. There are no perfectly flat surfaces in nature. If you would ask me, I think a bed is one of the best investments you can ever make in your life. The way you sleep is also the way you will feel. So if you sleep good, you will feel good throughout the day. This is so important for physical health, recovery, but also mental health. Sleep is the best performance enhancing drug. Really feeling the aftermath of sleeping on the floor, specifically in those hot spots I was mentioning, like the upper back. Okay, so he measured his sleep. Let's look at the stats. So time in bed, seven hours, 31 minutes. Total sleep, six hours, 39 minutes. It's not bad. Really? I don't know, man. I feel like I was awake that entire time in the beginning. His resting heart rate was 53 beats per minute, which is decently low, maybe even cold ground, so even lower heart rate. And that is what made this a 83 good score. These apps are great, but the best indicator if you slept well is yourself. Roggy and kind of in a daze, like in a cloud, in a fog. Surprisingly though, physically I did feel strong and actually had a decent workout. Night two. Oh, I can already feel the pressure points. <laughs> From the previous night, Ah. Oh. Okay, so what are your guesses? At what point, what day will he start liking this? Will he start liking this at all? I think it just got worse and worse and worse. Until day seven. Until day seven. I think it will be rough for a few more days and then maybe around day five, he will start to feel like, all right, I'm not used to it. So if you can't tell, after night two, still feeling a bit rough. However, I did feel like I got better sleep than night one. Yeah, so the data was telling me that I slept optimally, but I didn't feel optimal. Yes, I was feeling tired like on day one, but I was still feeling physically sharp as well as strangely mentally clear. However, this clarity was taking on the form of deep thinking where I could be doing something very routinely, but finding myself in very deep thought. Maybe he doesn't get his REM sleep. So during the day, he's sort of lucid dreaming. He's dreaming while being awake. Maybe he's going crazy already. Here's the GoPro Night 3 night lapse footage. You can see I go from pillow to no pillow. Then I flip over to my typical sleeping position on my stomach with the pillow. This is where I actually believe I fall asleep. But then you can see I kind of go from side to side to side to side. And he slept worse again, according to the app. So I actually had a very important workout scheduled this day and I did not want to miss it. So I did my best to power through. But as you can imagine, the physical toll of not sleeping the best was beginning to take a hit. So it's day four. 
On this day, it was really all starting to hit me. The physical toll, the mental toll. In fact, I was actually contemplating ending this experiment early. So far, you're right. Yeah, it's getting worse. It's, it's only worse. getting worse and worse. A power nap. I'm normally a person who never takes a nap. If he normally doesn't need to power nap and now he needs to because he's feeling so tired, I think that already says something about the challenge. Oh, yeah. Nice and cool down here. No way he's getting any rest. So this might seem like a total joke, but I'm telling you, there was a moment here where I dozed off. And that little bit of a moment, I think was all I needed. Night five. I'm starting to feel sorry for him. Yeah, it, this is sad. Good morning. Well, actually, I feel like he's getting kind of used to it. <laughs> he's getting used to it. Hey, day five. I'm getting hard. He's getting hard. Ho ho. No. So I'd say today was probably one of the first days of this entire experiment where I felt like like I'm coming back out of it. Like I might actually be getting adjusted to this. So I went from thinking about quitting this experiment early to being excited to power through to see what it would bring. And the very next morning after the best night's sleep so far, I was beginning to feel mentally normal again. So what in your hardwood floor sleeper here? The trick is a pillow between the legs, pay your thumb on the back, no pillow, and hand tucked in the elastic on your shorts near your lower stomach? Best sleep of your entire life. This sounds like the sentence that made people think, hey, maybe we can do this simpler and create a bed. If he sleeps great, that's that's perfect. But I sleep perfectly in a bed. How to sleep on the floor. I think this is kind of what he means. I mean, this guy knows what he's talking about. Night seven. I, tr I really thought I was going to quit. I do have one fear, though, and that is tomorrow when I finally get to go back into my bed, is it going to be too soft? Nah, nah. I think it's going to be amazing. Regardless, I powered through the final night and finally Finally, the week was over. So there it is. I cannot believe I did it. I can't believe I made it a whole week sleeping on the floor. How does this week of sleeping on the floor data compare to my normal sleeping in the bed data? By the way, sleep last night was actually terrible. I've got like a couple red markers there. <laughs> it is time to look at the results. So my first night back into my normal bed was fantastic. Of course, like we thought, it's amazing. It Feels like heaven. Yes, a bed is great. Slept pretty decently. According to my details here, seven hours and six minutes of total sleep. I had a good sleep score. However, let's now take a look at the entire week sleeping on the floor summary compared to an entire week of me just tracking my sleep data normally in my bed. So first of all, looking at the data, tracking my normal sleep in bed for a week, we can see, well, I guess a bunch of different numbers here. He really put in a lot of work. It's a lot of stats. Like a full analysis of the sleep. Total sleep per day for the week was seven hours and 20 minutes. Also the average deep sleep per night, one hour and 43 minutes. However, when we go over to the floor, we can see there is a decrease. I only had an average of six hours and 52 minutes per night, an average deep sleep of one hour and 39 minutes per night. So all of those averages are lower than in my normal bed. The biggest difference is actually the duration of the sleep, which obviously impacts the others as well, because it depends on how long you're in bed. If you have to film yourself going to bed and waking up, then you sleep less your sleep sucks more as well normally, uh, speaking from experience. So this could literally be the difference from week to week uh, for a normal person not sleeping on the floor. So again, we have to look at him and what he thinks and how he experienced it. And to me, it was kind of clear that he wasn't a big fan. No, he didn't like it. I personally can't say I felt like I slept better on the floor. He hates it. He can just say that. We've made a lot of videos on this channel also about sleep. The number one thing for sleep quality is temperature. You can actually sleep very well if it's really cold because then your body just goes into this mode of find a comfortable place, low temperature, good air quality, and maybe some white noise if you're distracted by noises. Amazing, now we need a one month sleeping on the floor experiment. One month? I, I mean, I think, I think he would die. Yes. You tried to pick me for trying this challenge and actually surviving for seven days. Make sure to subscribe to him. So yes, yeah, sleep is super important for recovery and we need all the recovery you can get. Yeah, because this guy and me injured ourselves after doing pull-ups for 24 hours straight. If you want to see that story, what happened and if we actually recovered, then make sure to click here. Subscribe, hit that bell. And also uh, we have an epic workout app that's free. Subscribe, link and hit that bell. You can, you can subscribe and download the app and subscribe.